The Red Shoes, it was released in 1948. Uh, Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressenberger, Pressburger, and uh, they released this film in 1948. They shot, started shooting this in 19, in the mid of 1946. Uh, this is, a, I've, they have like 20 films, and uh, this is the second film that I've seen. The 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 film before this was The Black Narcissus in 1947. My friend Quincy spoke very highly of that film as well. And about The Red Shoes, I've heard so much about this film from Darren Aronofsky and Martin Scorsese, Brian De Palma. They didn't tell this to me personally, but in their interviews, they have spoken so highly about the film. There are many things that are so good in this film. Basically, the, the One of the top things are the... This, the 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 sequence the dance sequence that happens in the middle of the film uh which might be like an obstruction to the flow of the film but it actually is enhancing the flow of the film i'm not even sure if that was ever seen before but then it has been reconstructed later on uh, i believe martin scorsese's new york new york has influence of this film i might be wrong even raging bull could be said the whole boxing sequence and the Black Swan is pretty much a good influence as well. I also think Whiplash, but that I might be wrong. But there's so many different things happening. Ever since the first scene, the direction and the writing is so good that you 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 sort of understand a conflict that's happening. That there's a composer who feels his music has been stolen, and then this composer ends up stealing the love of the of the guy who stole his music earlier, and the the guy who actually stole the music says that even though he stole it but he he used it the right way and there is a lot of things happening between the artist and the art form and the art the artist and the art how much do you involve in it when do you separate yourself in it and back in the day it's like 1948 i don't think there was ever a work life balance i don't think there was ever a talk about balance there might be i'm i'm, I'm pretty sh i'm pretty sure i'm wrong but I don't think that was so evident that people were talking about how to balance life. And then something like this, a movie that is being shown to you and you are made to question. Like even I could question my own self. Like, man, who is wrong? Who is right? There are three people from three different perspectives. One person who feels that if you are talented and blessed, you're supposed to live your life a certain way. Be away from uh, getting involved in love. While the... Another, another person who's gifted, who's a composer, tries to control the love of his life. And the lover is also confused whether she's in love with the person or with the art form. I might be sounding confusing, but if you watch the movie, you, you might understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, I, I also feel I need to watch this film a few more times to get a grasp. Because it's like, I've often heard, right, that if a movie or music is a good piece of art, then every time you watch it, every time, even painting, every time you see it, watch it, hear it, you, you take something new out of it. There's, there's something that's happening. There's something more than just some technique happening into it. Um, and the Red Shoes, Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger, I, I, I would like to know more about these guys. I would like to learn more about their films. Robert, uh, Robert Roger Eberts, The Critique, I have a book. I believe I believe his name is Roger Ebert. Even he has spoken so much um, about this movie. He included this in the in his book, Hundred Great Films. And uh, you know, to discuss the greatness of this film is more and more 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 about like similar simple things that keep on happening in a movie where you learn more as the film advances more you make some points points about the protagonist and those change later on the ending yo the ending of this film there's so many things about it i would like to say i did not personally like it too much where the girl falls in front of the train and she does not even die uh but again it's not a movie about life and death but the fact that a person can be pushed to a level where she's not able to choose anything, you know, maybe that's the way suicides happen at times. Fuck. I'm, I'm saying some bullshit. No, I should not even say something about suicides. But yeah, that, that's what the girl tries to do in the movie. She jumps off in front of a train because she loves the art and the art form she's into. And she loves her lover who has lost hope into her who's trying to win her back because she leaves him and she comes to perform what she loves the most and then she's not able to choose and she tries to jump off the cliff that's what happens crazy right watch it the red shoes 
it's amazing watch the black narcissist these are available on the criterion channel and and watch it again watch it again let's learn from it let's talk about it